Welcome back one and all to the AF12 Pokemon Pearl and Diamond walkthrough. Hearthstone City Pokemon Gym leader Fantina, the alluring soulful dancer. We will now be battling her. Doesn't everyone just love the gym theme? Okay, so here's what you're supposed to do. On your Pokétouch, there is a calculator. Yes, there is a calculator. Just click, keep clicking the button till you get to the calculator. It's pretty obvious. The button with all the numbers: one through nine, C plus times division symbol, minus symbol, dot zero, and equal sign. What you're supposed to do is three. So let's just put three plus five plus seven. In your Pokétex, it will say 15, you look back at the answer, and follow it. If you try to do it mentally and fail, then that just says something. The little boy actually is who gave me that hint. The little boy in this room, he gives you the hint after you battle, or right at, as soon as you come in, he goes, Don't you have a Pokétex, or did you screw it up? Sim telling you that you should use your Pokétex to get to this gym, to the gym leader anyway. Now, if you're following me, then you won't need the Pokétouch because i actually pretty good at math. I can do mental math pretty easily. Especially basic math like this. 12 plus 28 is 40, guys. Take this straight into our head. Correct. Congratulations. This is a pop quiz. Three times thirteen is thirty-nine. Three Correct, congratulations. And what was the first room's answer, guys? It was fifteen. Hooray. And it's Ventino, the wonderful gym leader of this place. Looks like a church. Okay, save up. And once you think you're ready. Then you shall battle the gym leader of Hearthstone City. Oh, 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 oh. To be honest, when I first saw this person, I thought it was a guy. Like, I'm not going to lie, I literally thought that when the first time I played this game, years ago, like, as soon as it came out, I was like, why is this guy dressed up in a dress? What is Pokemon trying to say? Are they trying to include gay people in their games too? I don't have nothing against gay people, I have a friend who's gay. And a lesbian friend. Uh, and a friend. So. Off topic. This is the children's walkthrough. Okay. Fantina. Starting out with her level 32 Drift Blim. Drift Blim. Generation 4 Pokemon. New to this game. Ghost types. So oh, I recommend dark types. Actually, in the last video I said I don't recommend anything, but I really do recommend dark type Pokemon to finish off ghost types. Like a simple move like Crunch, you easily take these out if you're up to a certain level. Like I don't know, Let's assume you're at level 35, you can easily take at least half of its HP. With just crunch and Roselia, you're disappointing me today. Oh no 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 no! I'm um, losing. That means I'm switching out, guys.
I'm so vulnerable to flying type Pokemon. I have no idea why. I only have one Pokemon that can cover my flying type weakness. This So, if you watched my videos before, you know that generally I don't like to just finish off a gym leader with type going by type advantage. I like to little sometimes I like to strategize, paralyze, ice, uh, freeze. Yeah, she does have a couple hyper potions. Be rare of that. Paralyze, confuse, make uh sleep, all that good stuff. As you can see here, I do have a Pokemon that can use Crunch, my Floatzel, my Water type actually, Pokemon that I do recommend using against Ghost types, because for whatever reason, Water types versus Ghost types just seems like a cool matchup to me. What's even cooler is, Pokemon that are both Water and Ghost types. Yes, one does exist. I just don't know which one it is. Oh no 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 no, Monferno! Don't don't faint on me, Monferno. I'm I'm hoping you get a critical hit. Critical hit, critical hit. Oh, stupid aftermath. <laughs> no one just experienced points. <laughs> Jeez. Except Roselia. Roselia eats everything. That's cool. Roselia needs it anyway. <laughs> Okay, so, mainly because of that, I'm tired of this now. This Magius is a very bad boss Pokemon, level 30... Oh, 36. That's not good. I was way off. <laughs> anyway, a good dark type move. Simple. See how much damage it does. Beware of her... Citrus berries that she told that she holds in hand. I don't have move sets this time around, but I will. I promise you guys, we'll have move sets for the next gym because next gym's kind of hard. Well, not hard, but more challenging than the rest of the gyms that we've had so far. I can guarantee you that. Unless you have a fire type, which most people I usually do, but some people just hate fire types. Like me, no, I like fire types, but I prefer grass and water over fire any day. Last Pokemon on the roster is Gengar. Hooray, Gengar! Gengar at level 34. Oh heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Of course, it's your final Pokemon. You've been careless and not used your hyper potions when you should have. Hmm. Spite, oh, I hate Spite. Spite reduces the move of your, the move that you last used. Never give up, never surrender. I give you enthusiasm, I, I will give you. You have enthusiastic and determination. But it won't make you win, so. <laughs> it's kind of pointless. And that's how you wrap things up with Fantina, a ghost type master, the alluring soulful dancer. Player defeated leader Fantina, so you are fantastically strong, I know now why I have lost. Everyone realizes that I'm strong. I'm dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your po your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. You will receive the relic badge from Satina, which with our fifth badge in hand. Hooray! We can now use Surf. 
Against she will give you TM65. Shadow. No, not Shadow. Yeah, Shadow Claw. Convenient because she never used it. But, uh, that's okay because we won anyway, right? Just make your way down to the little elevators. I do love the elevators in a different video game. Disclaimer. Uh, Black 2. The ele Pokemon Black 2. Black 2 version. Hi. I just love when people do old walkthroughs on old video games. When there's new video games still coming out, it, it makes me so happy, doesn't it? Okay, one more elevator. I if I have to face this way to go down it, though. That's not okay. What do you have to say, mister? Oh, you should. You beat the gym leader. It's no end to how tough. Mr. Stalker guy. Looks like he might just Scott. No lie. Okay, when you come out, send the over like, blink. I'm so glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about told me about what took place in Celeste Town. Thank you for what you did in the ruins. But that team galactic. I thought they were just an eccentric bunch of freaks. No, no, they're not. They're planning something. Something big, obviously. They're not harmless at all. Anyone who dresses that weirdly is not harmless. Remember that, sister. Candlelave City? Okay, sounds cool. Pokédex. Alright, bye-bye. So you heard our next destination is Candlelave City. If you look on your map... Which I will use to use the flying method. If you look on your map, Candlelave City is right, literally right next to Jubilee City. Like, it's just a couple steps, basically. So... Fly over to Jubilee City, heal up there, and I will see you where we will tackle the route between Route 218 